What's up geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video and today we are going to talk about Twitter being exposed. That's right. I've been talking about this for months and months and there are so many people out there that are in denial but luckily a brave national treasure of a person handled it yesterday and handled it beautifully. So for months I've been talking about the hypocrisy of Hollywood, of social media, specifically Lucasfilm, and how Lucasfilm has made repeated racist comments about white people and white men specifically over and over and over again. And nobody holds them accountable. Nobody. And it's absolutely unacceptable what's going on. And it's bullshit and I'm sick of it. So um, we can go back to Ryan Johnson's uh, comments where he says, we need less white dudes in Star Wars, directing Star Wars movies. Or Freddie Prince Jr. talking about how it's just overweight white men that didn't like The Last Jedi. Or Chuck Wendig, we've all seen what he says, um, calling us white supremacists. Um, and, you know, the, the Lucasfilm executive saying that it's 75% uh, of the visual effects industry is taken up by men, and that's unacceptable. That's unacceptable. So, yesterday on Twitter, uh, Candace Owens, who I have become a major fan of, by the way, I've been following her for several months. She was on the Ruben Report. Um, she did an interview with him. That's where I found out about her. And since then, she has just taken off. And this woman, I mean, she's a fighter. She won't back down from anybody. I've seen her uh, go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Ben Shapiro on Twitter. She is not scared of anyone or anything. And I, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan. But yesterday, I don't know if this happened yesterday, but it, it all uh, got exposed. It may have happened two days ago. Uh, Sarah Jean, I'll tell you in her own words because she's awesome. And I'm going to let her tell you and then we can talk about it. Hey, guys. So I survived my very first Twitter lockout. And I was not that upset about it because in reality, it proved my point. So just very quickly to recap, yesterday I sent out two tweets. Uh, they were verbatim what Sarah Zhang of the New York Times had tweeted out, um, except instead of saying it about white people, I chose to say it about Jewish people and black people. So I tweeted out, black people should live underground. I love being mean to old black women. And I tweeted out, um, you know, do Jewish people uh, burn quickly under the sun, whatever she tweeted about burning under the sun. Um, and that hashtag cancel Jewish people. She tweeted out hashtag cancel white people. And my account was locked out. Um, and I was, uh, basically told that it was because I was inciting hate, which is against Twitter's policies, which should be against Twitter's policies. On the surface, I actually agree with Twitter, with Twitter's assessment. I believe that what I said what I tweeted was wrong. <laughs> you should not be able to tweet about any race or any group that you want them canceled, that they should live underground, um, and that you enjoy harassing them. I mean, obviously that's wrong. And that is the point in all of this. You know, we should not be allowed to be racist towards any group. I obviously understood that it changes the context. For some reason, we believe in this country that racism is totally fine when it's geared towards white people. And that is incredibly wrong. and something that I've been a very vocal critic about, um, you know, growing up in a household with my grandfather and he was somebody that grew up with the real KKK and they'd come by at night on horseback and shoot into, um, their home when he was growing up. You know, he grew up where people were actually uh, being lynched. So learning the stories of my grandfather's childhood has always made me someone that always wanted to defend any group against racism. I don't know why suddenly people think that white people are excluded from um, that scenario, that people can't be racist towards white people when in fact they often are. Um, the problem with the New York Times essentially sanctioning her behavior is that they are signaling to the rest of the world that racism actually is okay as long as you pick the the right race. And obviously within white people, I don't know exactly, there are so many different groups and the history of the United States teaches us that white people were discriminated against all the time. The problem is that black people, Asian people, um, and other minority groups like to think that we were the only ones that were discriminated against and that's just false. So is this not beautiful? Is this not beautiful what she did? And they walked right into her trap. And why? Because people like her 
people like myself, people like most of you watching, we have common sense and we see the hypocrisy happening every single day going on. Every single day. Like, they literally walked right into her trap. It, it's unbelievable how the lack of self-awareness with these people. They're so concerned with being woke. They're so concerned with their woke social media presence. They don't even see the obvious right in front of them. And to to take uh to take Candace and her template, why don't we apply her same logic to what Ryan Johnson said? Ryan Johnson said we need less white dudes directing Star Wars films. So why wouldn't we say we need less black dudes starring in Star Wars films? Why don't we say you know we need less Asian women in Star Wars movies? Why don't we do something like that, huh? Or why don't we say the only people that dislike The Last Jedi are overweight black males, like Fred Freddie Prince Jr. said? Why don't we do something like that? Or why don't we look at the visual effects industry comment by the Lucasfilm executive where they were complaining it was 75% men? And why don't we say, oh, uh, well, this, uh, this industry, the teaching industry or whatever, is 75% women. We have to change that. That's unacceptable. Really? I mean, it's just the hypocrisy is unbelievable. It's unbelievable. I, 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 I why don't you, hey, uh, uh, Lucasfilm, since you're so concerned, why don't you look up uh, supermodels? Why don't you look up how much Giselle makes, and then look up what the what her male counterpart makes? Look at the look at the top male supermodel in the world. Compare his salary to Giselle's. Yeah, it's it, it's it's a bigger gap than you could imagine. And why? Probably because Giselle deserves it. Because she's bringing in the money. It's all about the market determining the market. So, um, I love what Candace did here. Twitter is trash. Twitter is garbage. Twitter is a cesspool. We all know this. For the longest, I stayed off of Twitter. Uh, the main reason I'm on Twitter is so a lot of our notifications on the Geeks and Gamers channel are not showing up. Uh, our live stream notifications, video notifications, none of it's showing up. Um, so that's the main reason I'm on Twitter outside of having our, obviously our geeks and gamers Twitter account. But yeah, I just, uh, Na Candace Owens is a national treasure. Uh, she is uh, going to continue to, to expose these things every day. It's like every other day I see Candace, um, just owning someone. Uh, she is a force to be reckoned with, and I highly suggest that everyone follows Candace. Uh, it's uh, at Real Candace O. Um, she she does not she does not hold back, and she will she doesn't care who you are. She will stand up and she will stand her ground. And I respect the hell out of this woman. Um, and she's just going to continue to. Um, you know, make me proud and make a lot of people proud by exposing the hypocrisy uh, within the social media realm and the uh, overall media. Uh, she just doesn't care, and I love it, and it's great. And um, Lucasfilm, uh, you need to be exposed for your racism, and I'm going to continue to hold you accountable. And hopefully, people like Candace Owens will uh, at some point uh, get a hold of the words that Lucasfilm. Uh, has been using against white people um, because it's it's completely unacceptable. And um, anyway, I just I thought this was beautiful. I loved it. I love seeing it. I love seeing Twitter uh, just get exposed because we all know how biased they are. We know how one sided they are. We all know how woke they are. And Candace Owens, you're doing you're doing amazing things. Please keep going. You guys have a great day, and we'll talk to you later.